have another scary project to do today and that is strangely wallpapering straight over our text. The question is can we do it? We don't want to spend too much doing it by skimming over it because this wall has to go eventually as well, just like the kitchen wall. I've already tried to start filling it. I won't be sending this whatsoever. I daren't because we don't know if the asbestos is in it. But it's on the staircase it goes all the way to the top up there. is now done and can I tell you I absolutely hated it I um, I couldn't think of anything worse because it was a staircase we probably picked the hardest project to do so yes didn't like it I've got wallpaper paste all over me all in my hair and it's really not very nice stuff so hopefully it stays and you can't see the artex behind I'm not entirely sure I'm not feeling hopeful and hopefully none of it's fallen by tomorrow morning and the other really annoying thing is I've only ever made wallpaper paste once before and that was just to line a drawer of one of my Annie Sloan projects. And when I came to do this one, I thought I'd read the box thoroughly and I didn't realise it's four and a half litres of water per sachet, not all three. So luckily it was only five pounds. So I think I'm going to go and enjoy a glass of sangria and read it. So we're now on day two of our staircase wallpapering project. And Unfortunately, the, where the wallpaper meets, the seams have started to show and it's started to peel away. So annoyingly, I'm having to dip a paintbrush into some wallpaper paste and poking it underneath and using a seam roller, which is not ideal. I don't think that's normal for wallpaper, um, but you can still also see the patterns and we thought it might make a difference if we left it to dry. Um, but I'm beginning to think we need to paint it with a uh, flat emulsion as well but I really wouldn't recommend this personally um, but we know this wall's going to go we know that this loft conversion is going to be put on the back so I don't know whether it was worth it but at least we've got some practice for the first time to do a proper full-on wallpaper area So all in all, this job actually cost us £15 because I'd already bought the same wallpaper paste from B&M which I didn't realise about so I've got to take my £7 odd stuff back to Screwfix. So it wasn't too much of an expensive flop but the effort was quite time consuming, it took us a few hours to do. So hopefully my next video won't be a flop and it'll be a restoration project, something that I'm used to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been a valuable lesson to anyone out there trying to cut any corners. Thanks, bye.